shoot till they are dead, police who escaped Myanmar uncover orders. Cops who escaped to India give direct records of how military arranged them to shoot quiet dissenters. At the point when the Ping was requested to take shots at dissenters with his submachine firearm to scatter them in the Myanmar town of Kampat on February 27, the police spear corporal said he would not do as such. The following day, an official called to inquire as to whether I will shoot, he said. The 27-year-old declined again and afterward left the power. On March 1, he said he abandoned his home and family in Kampat and went for three days generally around evening time to stay away from recognition, prior to intersection into India's northeastern Mizoram state. I had no way out, the Ping told the Reuters news office in a meeting on Tuesday, talking by means of an interpreter. He gave just piece of his name to secure his personality. Reuters saw his police and public ID cards which affirmed the name. The Ping said he and six associates all ignored the February 27 request from an unrivaled official, whom he didn't name. Reuters couldn't freely check his or different records accumulated close to the Myanmar-India line. The depiction of occasions was like that given to police in Mizoram on March 1 by another Myanmar police spear corporal and three constables who crossed into India, as indicated by an arranged inner police archive seen by Reuters. The archive was composed by Mizoram police authorities and gives true-to-life subtleties of the four people and their record of why they escaped. It was not routed to explicit individuals. As the civil disobedience movement is acquiring energy and protests held by hostile to upset dissenters at better places we are told to take shots at the dissidents, they said in a joint articulation to Mizoram police. In such a situation, we don't have the guts to take shots at our own kin who are serene demonstrators, they said. Passings and Confinements Myanmar's military which kept individuals from the nation's chosen government and organized an upset on February 1, didn't react to a writer's demand for input. The military has said it is acting with limitation in taking care of what it has portrayed as shows by crazy nonconformists, whom it blames for assaulting police and hurting public safety and soundness. The Pings is among the principal cases revealed by the media of police escaping Myanmar subsequent to ignoring orders from the military security powers. Day-by-day -day fights the upset are being arranged the nation over and security powers have broken down. In excess of 60 dissidents have been executed and almost 2,000 kept, as indicated by the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, a backing gathering, which has been following captures since the overthrow. Reuters has not had the option to affirm the figures autonomously. Among the prisoners is Nobel laureate Hong San Suu Kyi, who drove the chosen government. Handfuls escape. Around 100 individuals from Myanmar, for the most part police officers and their families, have crossed a permeable boundary into India since the fight started, as indicated by a senior Indian authority. A few have taken asylum in Mizoram's Champhai region lining Myanmar, where writers talked with three Myanmar nationals who said they had presented with the police. Just as his ID cards, the Ping showed an undated photo of him wearing a Myanmar police uniform. He said he joined the power nine years prior. The Ping said that, as per police rules, nonconformists ought to either be halted by elastic-covered slugs or shot beneath the knees. Reuters couldn't confirm police strategies. Be that as it may, he was provided orders by his bosses to shoot till they are dead, he added. Ngun Lai, who said he was posted as a police constable in the city of Mandalay, said he had likewise gotten requests to shoot. He didn't give a date nor determine whether the request was to shoot to murder. He didn't give subtleties of any setbacks. The 23-year-old likewise gave just a piece of his complete name and conveyed his public ID card. The Ping and Gun Lai said they accepted police were acting compelled from Myanmar's military, known as the Tatmada. They didn't give proof to back up their assertion. Military Pressing Factor The other four Myanmar police agreed with the assertion. As indicated by the grouped police archive, the military compelled the police power who are for the most part constables to face individuals, they said. Ngun Lai said he was reproved for resisting orders and moved out. He looked for help from favorable to majority rule government activists on the web and ventured out by street to Mizoram's Vefhai town on March 6. The excursion to India cost him around 200,000 Myanmar yacht, $143, Ngun Lai said.
albeit protected by Indian paramilitary powers, the Indian Myanmar line has a free development system, which permits individuals to wander a couple of miles into Indian region without requiring travel licenses. 24-year-old Dao said she had functioned as a constable with Myanmar police in the mountainside town of Phillam in northwestern Myanmar. Reuters saw a photo of her police ID and checked the name. Her work was for the most part authoritative, including making arrangements of individuals kept by the police. In any case, as fights expand in the wake of the overthrow, she said she was told to attempt to keep female dissenters, a request she denied. Dreading detainment for agreeing with the dissidents and their common insubordination development, she said she chose to escape Myanmar. Each of the three said that there was generous help for the dissidents inside Myanmar's police power. Inside the police headquarters, 90% help the dissidents however there is no pioneer to join them, said the Peng, who gave up his better half and two youthful little girls, one six months old. A police vehicle drives past after they held on to Sangshong region looking for hostile to overthrow demonstrators in Yangon on Monday, stringers slash writers following in the way of other people who have crossed as of late, the three are spread around Champhai, upheld by an organization of neighborhood activists. Sa Nguyen, representative chief of Myanmar's Philom region a week ago wrote to Champhai's top government official, Deputy Commissioner Maria C. T. Zuoli, requesting eight cops who had entered India to be gotten back to them to maintain amicable relations between the two neighbor nations. Zuoli affirmed she had gotten the letter, a duplicate of which has been seen by Reuters. Zoram Thanga, Mizoram's central priest, disclosed to Reuters that his organization would give transitory food and safe house to those escaping Myanmar, however was holding up for India's national government to go to a choice on repatriations. The Ping said that despite the fact that he missed his family he dreaded getting back to Myanmar. I would prefer not to return, he said, sitting in a first-floor room ignoring folding green slopes that stretch into Myanmar.